Hello everyone, the Flying Scotsman here. As you can see, it is another day at Retrofest. On the Grampian Electronics machine, we see the Windows 98 install starting to take shape. We've got graphics and we're getting sound. On the mesh, we see that a 30 gigabyte hard drive is installed and is actually being formatted and that's all very nice and good I will just uh, continue installing these apps but what we're here without the tripod again I'm really sorry about that what we're here today for is this machine that's right I've finally been able to actually get it up and running the RM, the RM Accelerator. Now what kind of CPU do you, would, do you think would be installed in this machine? A Pentium, Pentium MMX, a K62, Cyrix 5X86. Well, we know that it's ATX, so that kind of rules out um, anything before that standard, so um, 486 it is not. So we're looking at um, kind of Pentium, Pentium MMX kind of class of CPU, right? Wrong. No, this little baby has a Pentium 350, Pentium 2, 350 megahertz. It's also famous for having no hard drive at all, but that's okay, I knew it didn't. But the CPU seems to be something else. It's actually more powerful than the mesh over there. So, you know, this could turn out to be quite an interesting project. So, let's have a look in the BIOS. Obviously, I'm going to need to replace the clock battery. I've got a standard... Um, so, basically, this is a standard uh, BIOS. I'm really sorry about the flicker here. Uh, and it supports CD-ROM booting. So, this is quite interesting. Also, it has the type of a power supply that actually has an output for the monitor. So that is actually quite good, I, I like that a lot. Means I can only, I, I only have to run this off of the one plug. Which means I have a plug spare for some speakers. So, what we're planning to do with this machine well originally i was going to install windows 95 on here but now i'm not so sure considering the mesh runs 98 i don't see that why this one couldn't as well although i guess windows 95 it'd be kind of fun to have a 95 box in the sense that um you know it'd be Good to see a Windows 95 as well as 98 machines in use. Um, but yeah. So this is the mesh. The mesh? The RM. Now I really can't tell you much from the BIOS unfortunately. Um, well I mean I'm guessing. I'm guessing I could actually. Um, what I could do is just kind of load EEPROM defaults. No, save and exit setup, and maybe um, maybe some of the hardware will register itself at um, at post. I know some machines it does that. Now this has an A open motherboard, which is uh, quite interesting. Okay, right. So, what do we have here? I think we have a Sound Blaster card. Um, we have an IDE controller, serial bus controller, um, network controller, simple communications controller, display controller, and ACPI controller. That is all very well and good, but it doesn't actually tell me what hardware is in here. So, I've got a couple of options here. I could install a hard. I could use a hardware identifier tool. Uh, I've used those before. I've got one on my server, 
but my server's all the way at home. Whoops, forgot to put that on a flash disk. Or did I? Can't even mind. Or, I have, um, I do have the option of actually going inside the case and taking each card out and looking at it in turn. Now I'm going to have to open this system up anyway, because I've got a hard disk to install. So that might not be such a bad thing. Anyway, I think what I'll do is I'll get the lid off this thing. Well guys, I'm not going to lie, <clears throat> I didn't see any kind of signs of a modem, well, a network card, or a, um, well, yeah, just a network card. So, I thought I would get one out. Uh, got a part, got a bag full of parts from another generous free cycler, which includes this. Hopefully it works. But something I'm also wanting to see if it works is this big boy. It's a uh, Voodoo 2000, I believe. And it's AGP, so hopefully it can do both 2D and 3D, you would hope anyway. So, this card here is an AGP ATI Pro Turbo card. I thought I should probably replace that with the Voodoo. I think that the Voodoo would be a, a better card. And it'd, um, it'd give this machine some glide support. Now, I've realised I only have an 8GB hard drive to put in here. So, I think that's pretty much decided for me that, for the time being, I probably will go with 95. Until I can get some more larger capacity drives. Then I'll think about putting 98 on it. But for the time being, I'm going to get the drive and the new expansion cards installed. Well, unfortunately, I've got to kind of end this part of the video because I've got to go. Um, <clears throat> but I put, um, you know, I left that Windows 98 install on the drive just to kind of see what would happen. Um, the mouse that I decided to plug in was uh, basically <laughs> a good pair for this computer because I remember these mice at school as well as computers of this kind of elk. So uh, these two are elk mates. They drink from the same glass of elk, to quote Stephen Colbert. Um, but yeah, the machine is working. It's got 64 megs of RAM, ATI Rage Pro. Unfortunately, the Voodoo 2 didn't work. It's got a Ethernet card, some three comms thing. And um, yeah. So next time I'm in, I'll need to find out if the CD drive works. The tray ejects and ejects quite nicely, but it sounds terrible. <laughs> so we'll just kind of have to see what life holds for this machine. Um, if on the off chance I manage to find a nice wee machine at home, a nice 40 gig hard drive at home, I'll probably bring it in. But <clears throat> that is not going to be happening. So, I think I'll leave off here. So, I think that will conclude this week's video. Please join me next week when I will be properly setting up this computer with its own install of Windows 95. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and would like to see more, please consider subscribing to The Flying Scotsman YouTube channel. If you're looking for more things The Flying Scotsman, you can also follow The Flying Scotsman YouTube channel Facebook page and follow me on Twitter. To see my latest video, click on the link within the browser window. In the meantime, thank you for watching and please do feel free to join me for my next video. Cheerio bye.